born on June 12, 1929 in Frankfurt, Germany. I had an older sister named Margo, a mom named Edith, and a dad named Otto. At that time, Hitler was the chancellor and dictator of Germany. He had anti-Semitism, which means hatred of Jews. That was a problem because my family was Jewish. We moved to Amsterdam because the problems were getting bigger and worse in Germany. We were being segregated from non-Jewish people. As a child, I loved to go to the movie theater, cinema, read, ride my with my friend Sonic, and Frank and ice cream. I had a formal education until I was in sixth form. I started when I was four and I went to a Montessori school. I was Mistress Chatterbox in my class because I taught school. I used to have to write a couple of reports about Chatterbox. I learned Dutch because that was the language of Poland and its Dutch people. Half of the people in my class was Jewish, most of who had also fled German. I wasn't very good at math though. I preferred history. I didn't get very good grades compared to Mark. Later I quit guards being in trouble because Germany had invaded and took in control of Amsterdam. There were hard times coming from inside and outside the secret annex. Until by 6, 1942, our family went into hiding at the secret annex. The annex was a secret hiding place behind where Otto used to work at 263 Prune Strat. It had a movable bookcase door so it wouldn't be found that easily. It was a cramped hiding space with lots of people hiding in it. I hid there a little more than two years, each day writing in my diary. There were other people hiding in the annex too, such as the Van Pels family called Van Dan in my diary, Fritz Pfeffer called Albert Dussel in my diary. As time grew, I spent more time in the attic with Peter Van Pels. Outside, the world was not at peace. World War II was out there, and you could hear it. It was murdering Jews in concentration camps. Concentration camps are a lot like prisons, where they imprisoned mostly Jews. They were slept in barracks with only one blanket distributed to a couple of people. There wasn't a lot of food, and diseases spread quickly. There were helpers such as Nikis that supplied food and news from the outside world. One horrible day, the secret annex was discovered. We went to concentration camps such as Auschwitz and Bergen Belsen. Marco and I went to Bergen Belsen. We worked there for a couple of months, but unfortunately, Marco died in March 1945. I died a couple days later. Both of us died from a deadly disease spread by the lice called typhoid. I am most known for my hope filled diary, even in horrible times.